So you would need OBS to do this because that is how I do it. First, you would need to create an application audio output capture. Name it whatever you want, but you want to specifically collect the Riot Client Services.exe and you would get that by playing a game of Valorant. But then you would have to go down here and then click on it as you would see it and add it and then apply it and then so you would see this as a separate bar and then you would have to add valorant.exe as its own executable since that is the game audio separate from the teammate audio that you're hearing and add it as an executable and then you'd have two bars and to actually listen to it you would have to monitor an output so you would hear um the audio coming towards you in obs but you already hear the audio in the game and you don't want to you want to stream it specifically for your friends and here's where you would actually do it by having your monitoring device being set to not your default but like um let's say a monitor for example so you don't hear the audio you don't hear the the double audio coming towards your headphones because it would be kind of annoying having it set towards like me for example one of my monitors i wouldn't hear the audio coming from obs but i would hear it coming from my game and then the real slice of the pie deal would be going to window projector, clicking preview, and then you would see this, oopsies. Well, what I'm trying to say is you would see this and then you'd expand it. And then this is where you would stream your Valorant gameplay. And then you would go on discord and click on join a server any of your choosing share your screen and click on windowed projector to share what you are displaying it's really bad right now because i the window is really small but if i increase it and go back to discord it seems all right so let's hop into a game and test it out so you hear this audio right now coming from valorant and if I jump into a game, hopefully people will start talking. So if I click on here, you can see how there's audio playing from the game audio. Switching back to the map. Hey guys. Hey. Oh, did you guys hear that? That might be working. Hello. I'll switch over to the Valorant com so you can see the bars moving up. Hello, fellow human. I don't think they're talking. Hello. Oh, see, okay, it's working, it's working. And yeah, that's about it. That's how you do the thing. Reloading. Once upon a time, on a bright sunny day, the Straw Hats pirates found Omen, themselves you, sailing through the vast sea on the Thousand Sunny. The crew, led by their fearless captain, Monkey D. Luffy, has been traveling to various islands, seeking adventure, and of course, the ultimate One Piece. As they sailed on, their ship suddenly hit something hard, causing a jolt throughout the crew. Luffy, ever cur curious. Shadows traveling. And impulsive, dived into the water to investigate this cause. To his surprise, he discovered a mysterious rock glowing within the eternal light. 
Luffy's eyes widened with excitement as he retrieved it from the depths of the ocean. As he held the rock, Luffy felt an unusual energy emanating from it. His crewmates gathered around. Last player standing. Equally intrigued by the discovery, Nahami, the skilled navigator, examined the rock, recognizing its unique properties. She explained that it was a legendary gem known as the Mysterious Rock. Hey, nice try, guys. The Mysterious Rock was a rare and mystical substance capable of nullifying the powers of the Devil Fruit users, rendering them as weak as ordinary people. It was highly sought after by the world government and considered a valuable asset for capturing powerful pirates. As the crew pondered over the significance of their discovery, Luffy's eyes gleamed with mischief. He envisioned a fantastical plan to use the mysterious rock to his advantage. Luffy believed that the rock in his possession he would challenge powerful opponents who relied on devil fruit powers and finally defeat his arch nemesis. My bad guys. The Marine Admiral An Anaku A Akenu? Excited by this prospect, Luffy shared his plans with his crewmate Zoro the Swordsman, grinned, and stated his readiness to slice through any enemies regardless of their powers. Sanji, the skilled cook, expressed his eagerness. Nice shot. Expressed his eagerness to deliver powerful kicks without worrying about facing opponents with enhanced strength. Nice one. Frankie, the shipwright, started working on a special device that would allow them to utilize the rock's power efficiently. Robin, the archaeologist, researched the rock's history and discovered it was rumored to have even greater power when combined with other legendary artifacts. Determined to make most of their newfound treasure, the Straw Hat pirates embarked on a journey to locate these mystical artifacts, they traveled to ancient ruins, battled formidable foes, and faced treacherous challenges, all while honing their skills and growing stronger. During their adventures, the crew encountered allies and enemies. Idiot. Determined to make most of their newfound treasure, the Straw Hat Pirates embarked on a journey to locate these mystical artifacts. They traveled ancient ruins, battled formidable foes, and faced treacherous challenges, all while honing- I already read this. During their adventures, the crew encountered allies, enemies, and even their own motivations for the desires of the mysterious rock. Luffy's resolve to protect his friends and families achieved his dream grew stronger with every encounter. Finally, after a long, arduous journey, the Straw Hat Pirates all gathered all the required artifacts and combined them with the mysterious rock. The resulting fusion... The resulting fusion unleashed on an immense power known as the Ocean's Fury. Luffy, now wielding the Ocean's Fury, faced Admiral Ak Akunu in a fierce battle. With the Rock's ability to nullify Devil Fruit powers, Luffy and his crew were able to fight on equal footing against the formidable Marine. The Clash of Titans shook the very foundation of the world as the intense battle raged on. In the end, Luffy's determination and unwavering spirit prevailed. Nice one. With one final punch, fueled by the ocean's fury, he sent Akunu flying victorious at last. Oh, nice. The news of this incredible battle spread across the sea, inspiring countless pirates to challenge the world government and seek their own dreams. With the mysterious rock now having served his purpose, Luffy and his crew set sail once again, their bonds stronger than ever. Their grand adventure 
continued leading them to new islands, uncovering hidden adventures, and facing even greater challenges, but deep in their hearts they knew that finding. Planted. Okay, there, bye. 